Okay, so what we're going to build today is this right here, which is a basic tic-tac-toe game, and it's all in raw JavaScript. So it's, uh, you know, the user clicks here, and then here, and here. And if they have a win, like right here, it'll say, congrats, X, you won. And if they try to click there again to move, you can say, X already won the game. So if a game is won, you can hit the start over button down here, and it starts it over, right? So if there's no winner, let me make sure there's no winner here. Uh, uh, well, shoot, hang on. X, O, X, O. Uh, trying to not win at tic-tac-toe is kind of hard. Okay, no winner. Shit, there's going to be a winner. Either way, if they fill it all up and they didn't win, they can just uh, hit the uh, start over button. So that's the functionality, and that's what we're going to do. I had a homeboy of mine when I first started coding who told me, if you can build tic-tac-toe, and this is the code, we're just going to go ahead and erase all this. If you can build tic-tac-toe in a language, a, a basic tic-tac-toe game, then you basically know the basics of that language. So this will be good for JavaScript. So all I have here is a project file called my tic tac toe and in that I have a main.html and a main.js. So let's set up the HTML in the long handed version. HTML tags, head tags, title tag, and we'll just call it tic tac toe. And then we'll do body tag. Oops. Body tag. And then we'll just do an H1 right here. Just to make sure everything's working. Save it. And then go back to terminal. And just go open main. JS. Oh wait, not main JS. HTML. Open main dot HTML. Okay, so that's what you get. Okay. So let's get to it. First thing that we're gonna need is basically right here we'll just put uh tic tac toe and JavaScript. Let's capitalize JavaScript. Cool. Then under that, let's do we're gonna need a table for all this. We'll go table row, and then we'll go table display times three. And then we can just put an X and O, and then an X here. And then we can copy this, paste it twice, save it, go back, and let's get this out of here. Let's go open main. All right, so that looks terrible, but we do have a little tic-tac-toe board here, and we do have a header, so that's cool for right now. In a table, you can do border and just put a border around it, so let's do that. Cool, still looks terrible. So in order to style all of these uh, table displays, we're gonna have to give them a class. So I'm using control and click on all this. So, or uh, command click. Let's do class equals, and we'll just call it square. That's what they are, they're squares. Cool, and then in your head tag, you can do a style tag and just style in your head. And that's what I'm gonna do since this is a really small little project. So let's target those square classes and let's do some stuff. So what do we need to do? We need to make this bigger for one. Let's go height of each square be mm, 80 pixels and width will be around 80 pixels. Take a look, see what we got. Okay, so now we need to make these bigger and we need to center them. Let's go font, size, and I guess we could do that at like 40 points. Let's see, that looks pretty good. 
and then we'll do text align to center it. We'll go center. Let's see. That's pretty good. Actually, let's bump these up to 45. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that works. Uh, font weight. I want that to be bold, I guess. Eh, no, I don't even want it bold. Normal will work. Okay, so let's uh, center all this too a little bit. Let's go to body, target the body, and we'll just do a width. Total width of 550 pixels. And do margin auto. That'll center it. Cool. That looks a little bit better. So now what we need, if we go back, right here would be a good little spot to have a message saying whose turn it is or where they're at in the game. So let's take that H1 and let's uh, give it a border bottom of one pixel solid, uh, I guess black will work for right now. Okay, so we have a little bit of border under that. So now we need to put a message right here. So let's go under that H1, we'll do a div with an ID and message, and we'll just put uh, this is where the message will go. That is way too, let's just do it real easy. S edges here. And the messages will go right here. <clears throat> okay. So right now, what we have, we have a tic-tac-toe board set up, and we have a little bit of styling going on. We'll probably do more, but right now we've got a little bit. And I just got a tornado warning on my phone, so I'm going to stop it right there.